Welcome to the shop, folks. Today's project is a small knob that I'm making for something for work. And what I have to do now is make a set screw hole radially in through this piece of aluminum. Now to drill this hole precisely, I'm actually going to use a hardened steel drill bushing mounted in the tool post of my lathe to keep it centered and just use a hand drill and I'll show you how that is done. The first step is I'm going to drill a hole in this drill rod here which is a W1 grade. It's a water hardening. I'll show how it is hardened after. And it's a number three drill that I have here. And this is a fairly small hole, number 43, so I'm going to run the lathe at 550 RPM. Shouldn't cook the drill bit. I'm also going to use a cutting oil, just this Tapmatic number one gold cutting fluid. Works great for all metals. And here we go. And this is my finished piece of tool steel with the number 43 hole drilled in it. I am going to use this piece of boring bar clamp to hold it in the tool post when I'm ready to drill my hole into my part. So now it's time to harden it. Alright, I'm now ready to start the hardening process. And I just have the bushing on a piece of wire here to make it easier to hold and quench. And I'm using a acetylene turbo torch to do this heating, but you can actually just use a propane torch. It will get the part hot enough. Now it's time to temper it, and I'm going to heat it up using the same method. But first, I'd like to give it a little clean up with Scotch Brite just so you can tell the color of it, which is very important in the tempering process. So, we got the shiny surface back, now I'm going to light the torch up. And that is that nice brown color that I was looking for. And we just let this air cool now. And what tempering does is it actually takes the edge off the material so it isn't so brittle. Because after it's quenched, it's an extremely brittle material. You could probably hit it with a hammer and crack it. But the temper just takes that brittleness away. You still have the hardness, but without the brittleness of the material. So there we have it. Now let this cool off and we're all ready to drill some holes. So now that the bushing is all set, ready to go, I'm going to set it up here in the tool post. Just using this boring bar clamp. The end is flush. And I want the flush end to be closer to the workpiece just to keep it accurate as possible. And instead of the height, I'm just going to use a center. So now that I've got the bush and centered on the tool post, I'm just going to use a square here to get a square to the workpiece. Clamp down. And here I am, ready to drill. And there we have it, all set up and centered. I'm ready to drill a hole. 